Hello everyone, I am Dr. Vajay Shibir with another interesting video on ECHO. This is the ECHO which we are going to discuss today. Uh, first we will have a look at uh, different images of this ECHO. Before we discuss the abnormalities, let's first we uh, look at the different views. This is uh, apical four chamber view. In apical four chamber view, this is left ventricle. Left atrium. Between them is mitral valve. Similarly, this is right ventricle, right atrium, and between them is tricuspid valve. Both the ventricle are separated by interventricular septum, while atria are separated by this intraatrial septum. Now this is the apical two chamber view. In two chamber view we can find left ventricle and left atrium. Now moving on to the abnormalities. In apical four chamber, we can find a mass which is uh, protruding from LA to LV. Here we have measured this mass. This is the color Doppler on uh, mitral valve which shows turbulence across mitral valve. <coughs> Similarly, in two chamber view, we can see a mass between left ventricle and left atrium. <clears throat> there are multiple differential diagnoses of such mass. Uh, it could be due to infective endocarditis, it could be due to myxoma. But the thing which differentiates infective endocarditis from a myxoma is the presence of this type of well circumscribed mass, and also it appears to be attached to the intraatrial septum. So this is basically atrial myxoma which is obstructing the flow from left atrium to left ventricle during the diastole. The patients with atrial myxoma with obstruction of mitral valve usually present with symptoms of shortness of breath on exertion and syncope which is usually associated with changing position. The management of atrial myxoma which is causing an obstruction of mitral valve is surgical excision. So this is all for today. Hopefully you liked our video. For more videos, kindly subscribe to this channel and stay tuned. Allah Hafiz and take care till next time.